All right, you guys, this is The Wolf Among Us, episode two, continuation on to episode three. Um, sorry I didn't push out the last uh, part of episode three, episode two, I meant to say. Uh, last time I was uh, doing some traveling and got kind of sidetracked. So um, this is where I left off on the last episode and I'm going to be doing a continuation on to episode three. So oh, pretty much a segue. Chef, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? I've got some questions for Georgia. Straight to business this time, then. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. I don't like that look that she gave me, though. But. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. Mm -hmm. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I mean, more so than usual. It'll be fine. <laughs> I have a way with people. Tell him, Big. So I've heard. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Did you know Lily? She worked here? <sighs> My lips are sealed. Every freaking female says that every time. <laughs> you stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. Leave her alone, asshole. Sure, whatever you say. What do you want then? You here for a little? You know what I want, boy. Tell you what, come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or uh, knowing you. Probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target or one that will put up a fight? I'm not here for that. Oh, I'm not here for that. Oh, just stopped in for the chip then. Jesus, Bigby, you're so corny. I love it though. No, seriously. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. When did you hear about it? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Oh, she was, you daft shit. She was a troll. No, I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. It's sick. Ha! That's quaint. Especially coming from you. The 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. Strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. Nothing to back it up? Well, what the fuck is this then? Get that out of my face. I found it on Lily's body and it's definitely a back alley job. Where did she get it? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. 
the fuck's sake? I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Big Biff. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like hmm. who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? Go on, then. We're not done here. I think we are. I said we're not. You're going to hit me? Go ahead. That's what you want to do, right? One more time. Who hired her? <laughs> you get, bro. Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it. Why are you so mean to your clients, yo, and your employees? You proud of yourself, mate? Proud of your little nest? Fucks. Hold on a minute. On is it? Just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. She's not gonna know anything about the girl from her clients or any of that. No one will. You sure about that, bro? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we can secure that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my ass and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in You're it? You're a fucking moron. Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey, now. Just tell me, man. I don't want to destroy anything. Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Come on, man. Don't even think about it. Look, Georgie, why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. All right, you know what? I'm doing it. Screw it. Do not touch that. You hear me? It's nothing to do with you. Well, oh, look at look. What's this? Looks like a floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't You're know. A liar. Sheriff, will you come on? For fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give it to me. You're the big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. Jesus. You're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, mate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. Man, was that so hard, yo? Bloody come on, man. You make everything so difficult, man. Quit. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. This is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. 
I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Ants knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stick. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Don't care. Hello, business office. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Why is this stuff all still a mess, though? But I'm... How long has it been? Say, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Oh. Well, that jibes with what the woodsman told me. Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I didn't have a reason to come here before. Yeah. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? Well, what are you doing here? Same as anyone. It's a place where I am. Where else am I supposed to be? My name is Marissa. Well, Marissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number. But where? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean, we can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our Here we go with that lips are sealed crap again. Oh boy. It's how things work here. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me okay what would I need to do I need a hundred and fifty it's not good to be short do I still have that money this isn't enough but it's all I've got Wait here for a second.
Ooh, I got another achievement. Not two oh seven. You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. I hope so too. What the world? Hey, look at the cop boys. Hey, look at him. Hey, though. Yee. Got him off a few. Here we go at that load time. Let's see how long it takes this time. Smoky smoke. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh, er, you. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if he knew. Well, your secret's safe with me, all right? Let's not make a big thing of it. Thanks, Bigby. And. Thanks for covering for me last time, too. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pot. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The patrol. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but... She came off a tad intimidating. Have you seen Snow White around here? Or maybe somebody glamored her to. You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't Snow and went about my business. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here, Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a good ask questions. Names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather. Sorry. Thanks. Look, it'll be better if anyone sees you, but they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act. Trying to pick you up. That won't be hard. <laughs> I bet it won't.
Alright, man, I'll be getting a lot of achievements in this game. Listen, Bigby, I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something, which is fine. Just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's, it's not like Beast would ever see you report. It's just... Don't worry about it. The less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. I appreciate it. Well, here we are. Which one was it? Yo, sound like somebody getting it in. Oh, Lord. Hey, somebody beating the walls up, boy. Somebody peeling the paint. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Should I just go straight directly into this room? I'm tempted to just go straight into this room. Ain't nobody got time for all this, yo. Yeah. All right. Two oh seven. You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any yes, you room can. you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I... This is the room you will lead us in. <sighs> Fine. Now don't be getting attitudes with me, yo. For real, man. This is a, a crime well, scene, yo. Weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, oh, shit. Beast? Big B? Ah, uh, darn. No, sweetie. No. Oh, Lord. How could you do Lord. Lord, Lord. Why are you even here? What the freak are you even doing here, man? No, no, Beast. I promise I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet. I'm sure you help each other just great. This is a murder investigation. She's helping me. Stop lying to me. What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me. There's nothing going on. I'm mad. Oh, hey, bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are. Stop. Stop it. You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar. Listen to your wife. Just calm down. And... Beast. Smash the A button, boy. Smash the A button. Calm down, bruh. Straight in the eyes. Oh man, you a ratchet. Oh, I don't want to hit you again. See, they, there you go, there you go, there you go. You got antagonized. You got to. What is this? Bigby. Did you 
hostage at the door. You can't just act like this whenever Stand you... Stand back. You, you don't want to see this. Shit. What is it? Oh, my God. Don't touch anything. Is this... Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then... Must have happened right here. Jesus. So last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work at the front desk. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? There might have been some loud noises. I, I, I don't know. I mean, loud noises aren't out of the ordinary. I didn't hear anyone screaming or anything like that, but shouldn't I have? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Vicky, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with a built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the mummy version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. We shouldn't even be in here. He brought wine. Classy. <sighs> it's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. Where'd you get that? Lily had it in her hand. In case there was any doubt over who died here. Hmm. What is it? It looks like Snow's coffin in the book. He's reenacted the scene with her lying here, surrounded by flowers. Mr. Smith put Lily to rest here. That, that makes sense. I mean, it makes creepy, obsessed, sicko sense, but taking a terrible thing that really happened to Snow and setting up the scene in a hotel room with a prostitute and then killing her for real. God. God. Someone's been rough with this dress. Torn. Oh no, she must have been wearing it. He killed her and then, and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What? What are you thinking? This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. It fits. He's acting out scenes from the book. That poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just out of prison. 
We can't know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Yeah. She must have been so scared. Do you smell something? No. The most apple. Huh. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in the Snow White dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. Thanks. So he planned it all out. He had all the details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. pictures of the dead girl? How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand-in for Snow is gone now, so... The next step closer. What is it? This <gasps> crane. Could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. Starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. I am gonna shave your skin off one sheet at a time. Take care of it, Bigby, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Bigby. Is that you? 